I'm Bill Scott, and this is History Minutes. Muscle Shoals, Alabama was the ultimate destination if you wanted to make a hit record in the 1960s. Back in 1959, Rick Hall, a factory worker and amateur musician turned songwriter, opened a studio in Florence, Alabama called Fame, Florence, Alabama Music Enterprises, along with Billy Sherrill and Tom Stafford. Hall hired three session musicians to craft a sound that defined rock and rhythm and blues. The first hit song Hall produced was You Better Move On by Arthur Alexander in 1961. That success prompted the studio's relocation to its current location in Muscle Shoals. The hits kept coming, and the musicians, Norbert Putnam, David Briggs, and Jerry Kerrigan, eventually sought careers in Nashville. These were replaced by another four, David Hood, Jimmy Johnson, Roger Hawkins, and Barry Beckett, a unit nicknamed The Swampers. They recorded songs as accompaniment to artists as diverse as Aretha Franklin, Bob Dylan, The Rolling Stones, Paul Simon, and Wilson Pickett. They left in 1969 after a financial dispute and formed the Muscle Shoals Sound in nearby Sheffield, Alabama, where they continued their careers. The Swampers had over 500 recordings and 75 gold and platinum hits. Hall had another group of musicians that were equally successful. And this renown had to, led to even further success with artists such as Mac Davis, Greg Allman, the country group Shenandoah, Demi Lovato, and the Blind Boys of Alabama. It was especially pointed that all these musicians were white while backing many black singers. Their sound meant soul, R&B, and country. Rick Hall's vision persisted through multiple musicians and the Muscle Shoals sound is immortalized in our musical landscape as well as the line in Leonard Skinner's Sweet Home, Alabama. Rick Hall died in 2018. I'm Bill Scott, and this was History Minute.